riboflavin, gelatin, pectin. Oh, that's a funny word. <laughs> gelatin. A bunch of butylated hydroxytoluene, explosive natural glycerin, and oh, sacre blue. It's sucrose. Kuma, must you read the ingredients for everything you eat? Well, you said yourself that we should study everything we can about human life. And besides, these labels have some of the funniest words I've ever seen. Oh, did you know we put something called yellow number five in our bodies? Check, please. But, Your Highness, we're not in a restaurant. Manufactured and distributed in Nashville, Tennessee, 37013. I don't care. Check me. Hey, the fridge was full this morning. Why is it empty now? Oh, Jordan, you have all sorts of neat food in your fridge. Did you know that candy bars have ferrous and sulfate? Sounds ferocious, am I right? <laughs> This is humiliating. Me, a princess, having to go grocery shopping. Your Highness, I think of it as a way of getting a first-hand look at how humans scour for food. Dextrose, sucrose, primose, <laughs> who knows? Ow! You better not think about eating anything inside this store. Your Highness, please. I solemnly swear that I am not unlawfully eating unpaid produce in this establishment. Starting right now. <sighs> oh, Kuma. Come on, Chiro. We're leaving. Uh, coming! Citric acid. Malic acid. Excorbic acid. Antacid. Oh, brother. Chocolate. Always fun. <laughs> so much nougat. Gotta be a nut to dislike it. Oh, speaking of which, this has nuts. I'm Cuckoo. The Cocoa Butter. Are you picking up that rhythm, man? Dig, dig. Such modern prose. So original. We must find him. I'm Chili Con Corny for some cornflakes. Hey, Daddy-o, we just heard you cooking your crazy beat, man. It goes well with them bopping beats. We would be elated if you entered our Poetry Slam contest tonight. You dig? The first prize is a new set of bongos. This one has four drums instead of the usual two. You can quadruple the beats with this. The drink, Miss Chiro. Thank you, Mosika. I'm sorry, gentlemen, but I don't think we're enter. What? Great. See you tonight at the Cup of Joe Emporium. <gasps> Are you kidding, Chiro? You know Kuma's not reciting poetry. It's okay, Your Highness. As long as Kuma doesn't run out of food, we're a cinch to win. Come on, it's not like he can eat forever. His stomach isn't some black hole for food. Uh, uh, these groceries were meant to be eaten anyway, right? I beg to differ. It's a herd of humans. I don't think that a group of humans are called a herd. Perhaps a quandary of humans. I think it's one of the strange ones, like how a group of crows are called a murder. A fracas of humans? Ooh, I like that one. <laughs> Reminds me of chicken fricassee. Okay. Okay, you two sign in for the contest, and I'll be hanging around for emotional support and all that. So much 
much for accessibility. Can I help you? You're really fuzzy. Oh, thank you. My mother always said I'd take good care of my coat. Hello and welcome to this Groovin' Poetry Slam, where we listen to some hip beats. Please welcome our first contestant, Kuma. Uh, no last name, just Kuma. Hello, my name is Kuma, and uh, I'm apparently in this contest, so am I supposed to be saying some stuff or something or... Uh... Hey, Kuma, catch! Oh, mm. Taste your peanuts. Fine caramel. Oh, milkiest of milk chocolates. A whole lot of rice. Because that's good for you. Such a wonderful day for a corny meal. With corn syrup and corn starch. His poems are so deep. They come to him so easily. Ugh, he's reading a candy bar wrapper. Yeah, it's like he's reading a candy bar wrapper. No, I mean he's literally... Oh, never mind. Go Ruby, you. Oh, pretzels. Those are always dandy. Goes well with these egg whites. Ugh, this is bullpucky. Yeah, his poem is just corporate. Oh, no, I think the big candy corporation added them in just so they'd trick these unsuspecting dum-dums in the audience to buy more candy. You'd think the guy would at least throw in some irony or two in his corporate propaganda. At least then I could respect it. Ugh, that bear costume is so cheap looking. This wrapper's some interesting ingredients written on it. Oh, we're sure to win, Kuma. brains actually made it to the finals. You know, I just noticed something. You're a cat. <laughs> <laughs> that caught me off guard. This is it, Kuma. We're down to the final round. <laughs> well, that's good to hear. I'm down to the last candy bar. The last one? Well, well, well. Suddenly out of inspiration. Not like your crummy poems are any better. Hey, at least I'm authentic, you corporate drone. Uh, just because I fly doesn't mean you have the right to call me a drone. That's highly offensive. I bet you don't even know what irony is if it bites you in the butt. Oh, I have you know I take vitamins with iron every day. Mmm. Made with the finest ash around for acoustics, with the drumhead sourced from the hide of an endangered cow found in North Sentinel Island. Oh, very impressive. <laughs> wait, 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 wait! No, no! Kuma! Spit it out, spit it out, you fool! <laughs> no, the first prize, man! Oh, the bongos! Your fault, Shorty. For such a wordsmith, you sure rely on juvenile insults towards me. Oh, that's it! I'm gonna clobber you so hard. Huh? Where'd she go? Miss me? Hey! Get off of me! Hold on. I got ya. I said get off! Oops, I missed. Look out! Ooh. 
<laughs> what is that? Kuma! Where are you? Oh gosh, this is worse than my last parliamentary meeting. Where are those two schmucks? <laughs> that could have gone better. You think? Wait, where's Kuma? I don't know. I, I tried to find him, but he was nowhere inside. Kuma! Here, Kuma! Uh, uh, here, boy! Where the heck are ya? Where is that bear? Hello, everyone. Do you feel like you don't have enough yellow number five and peanuts in your life? Well, then you should buy Sandals Candy Bar. It has all sorts of neat ingredients listed on the wrapper. Uh, that's right! Listen to our new spokes bear. A warning, we are not responsible if you feel yellow and nutty. Why that? Oh, who am I kidding? As much as I had fun, it was wrong of me to use Kuma to achieve my dream. Now don't beat yourself up over it. And as much as I hate to admit it, you guys did better than I give credit for. Oh, you think so? Hey, the audience clearly had fun. Must have done something right. Thank you, Your Highness. I even had fun too. You did? Yeah, it was a real riot. Ugh, somehow I lost my appetite.